I'm Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install WordPress, the latest version of WordPress, which is uh, 2.9.2. And I'm going to show you the two basic ways of installing WordPress, and that's the point and click method and the manual method. And we'll take it from there. Before I jump into the installing, I just want to point out that though I will be teaching you how to do this with uh, version 2.9.2, which is the latest version now, you may be watching this video and WordPress 3 or later may be out. No worries because the install process for WordPress is fairly consistent. It's pretty much the same rather since, well, for a little while now. So if you're watching this video and a later version of WordPress is out, like a 3.1 or 3.2 or something, you'll find that the install process is pretty much the same. So the first thing I want to do is look at the one-click or the auto-install of WordPress, which you'll see that some hosting companies will have ready for you. In fact, if you go to wordpress.org, they list some popular hosting companies that do this. So I'm going to jump over to wordpress.org and I'm going to hit the hosting tab up here. And what they've done here is listed some hosting companies that they know of that uh, do support the one-click auto-install of WordPress. The advantage, of course, of this type of setup is that you don't have to concern yourself about installing the database and the WordPress files and all this kind of stuff. It makes it really easy. The disadvantage is that you may, and I want to emphasize may, have a little bit less control over the WordPress installation and how you might want to configure things. That said, it's, uh, it's pretty convenient, I have to admit, and uh, you may want to take advantage of it. In that case, you don't really need to watch the install video because most of this video is going to be about the traditional manual way of installing WordPress. Of course, if you don't have a hosting company that supports WordPress auto installs, then you do have to do it the manual way. But the good thing about that is that the manual install is really not that difficult. And that's what the bulk of this video is going to be about. So when it comes to installing WordPress, the first thing you need to do is actually get the WordPress install files. So again, you go to wordpress.org and you're going to probably be at the home page here. And right on the home page, you have download WordPress 2.9.2. So you just click on that button. If you're on Windows, you're going to download the .zip. If you're on Mac or Linux, you want to download the .tar, .gz. So I'm going to assume that most of you are on Windows. So we're going to go to Windows Installer. So you click to install, and I'm going to save the file. So as you can see, it's a two megabyte file. I'm on a high speed internet, so I was able to download it very quickly. So now I'm going to go take a look at where it is. Now for me, I've downloaded the WordPress 2.9.2 into my downloads folder on, uh, well, in my documents and maybe somewhere else for you. Just take note of where it is. So I'm going to just pull it out of here for the sake of uh, simplicity. And I'm just going to unpack it. It's a zip. Here it is. I'm uh, going to just drag it out. So we successfully unpacked our WordPress files. It should appear in a folder called WordPress. So I double click and you can see a whole bunch of files, most of them being PHP files. PHP, if you're not familiar with that, is a web programming language and Dreamweaver has been written in that language, which will bring me to my next point. So let's delete the WordPress zip file. We don't need this anymore since we extracted all the contents here. And what you want to do now is decide 
where you want to install WordPress on your site. For this video, I'm going to install WordPress in an empty domain name, killerphotoshop.com. Now, this brings me to my next point. You can install WordPress in a subdirectory of your site or on the root of your site. Let me explain. So here's killersites.com, and this is the home page. And you see here, this is a basically a standard PHP homepage. Now, if I click blog, now I'm inside the blog, and this is actually WordPress right here. And let me just bring this into view so you can see the URL. So you see killersites.com slash blog. I installed WordPress in the blog subdirectory. Now let's compare that to another site, CSS Tutorial. Now WordPress was installed on the root of this site. So this is actually WordPress right here. And you can see that you got the uh, telltale WordPress uh, post count here. Basically, it keeps track of, you know, how many posts you have on the site. So this whole website is actually all powered by WordPress versus KillerSites.com, where the WordPress is actually installed within a subdirectory. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress in a subdirectory. And it's pretty much the same thing for the root, but I'm guessing that most of you are going to be doing that. So it kind of makes sense to go that way.